talks about this animal and they showed me how the animal looks like. They specifically labeled the folding of its skin. The salamander looks like this. You see those foldings right here? Those foldings increase its surface area. They found something interesting about this animal. They found that when it is in shallow water that is not very oxygenated, according to the graph, they found that it actually shakes the water. And that movement of water that the animal does actually helps it to increase the level of oxygen. So once again, you see here, I have two graphs. One is partial pressure of oxygen. So you can see here that I'm going to color this in red. When the partial level of oxygen increases, like here, that is when the frequency of the animal, like shaking the water, is decreasing. Whenever the animal is in trouble, it moves the water, gets more oxygen from the air. The animal relies on diffusion for gas exchange through its lungs and through its skin. When the animal is in areas where there is a higher concentration of oxygen, then the concentration gradient becomes steeper, and that means that it doesn't have to beat in the water much. However, when the level of oxygen is decreasing, that's when it relies on itself to increase the concentration of oxygen in the water because that will help to aerate the water. That will help to let some oxygen dissolve into the water. The frequency decreases at high levels of oxygen because it doesn't need to spend effort. The water is already rich with oxygen, then the concentration gradient will be good enough to allow the diffusion of oxygen.